Okay, it's going to be a fast uh, video, but I just want to show you the advantages or, or something you should add to your, your toolbox, if you will, your toolkit. This is fiberglass resin. Now, this can even be found at Walmart. This is the hardener. The hardener. It's a 3M product. You can use other products, but this is the one I'm using now. Uh, you simply pour one ounce into a cup, 10 drops of this. Mix it up with the back of a disposable brush. You go to maybe Harbor Freight and get those cheap, cheap dollar brushes. And you literally mix the two together. As soon as you know they're mixed. At the same place, Walmart, you can buy fiberglass fabric. And there's different type of woven materials. These are more flexible. The disadvantages of these are when you go to cut them, these guys, they'll fray a lot. So you got to deal with that also. Like the fraying looks like this. And this, but this gets auto body over it. Uh, some fondo, if you will. Now, you can see the fabric is just nothing. It's just fiberglass. It's nothing special at all. Here, this came off of a, uh, my RV. And this is broken. This is, it's got a solar panel on it that, that stays on it. Um, on the top of it, it's balding down to four holes. One, two, three, four. With that said, this had a crack in it when I went to remove it to uh, service the air conditioner to get it serviced. This cracked. And when it cracked, I just, it just made a it just continued cracking. Probably uh, the sunlight, this this not being UV stable any longer. And you can see like cracks in it, etc. But this was only done about an hour and a half ago. And then we have these holes, remember? So here's the fabric. It's only an hour and a half ago. This has one layer on it. One layer. And I'm really rotating, guys. Trying to puncture this one layer of material. I'm going to get it now. Of course, I can drill it. Of course, I can drill it. But you can see that this is awesome. This is, this is, this is awesome. That's totally missing. This section here is totally out now. I just removed it and bridged it. Same thing with here. It, uh, pulling it off, they're, they're crazy how they do the shroud. You have to pull it off, and this broke. So just I needed some reinforcement before I put the uh, sand this and take care of it. So what's holding together? Literally a paint stick, hot glued paint stick into the back of it. You got to you know use your imagination, do some thinking. Now I can sand this and put the fiberglass over it also, and bring it to a perfect perfect finish if I wanted a perfect finish who's going to look on top of the roof you know who's going to be up there so it won't be a perfect finish but it still will get I'll still do some bondo on top of this for the general principle of it and then give it one coat of paint over the entire thing after it all gets sanded that's the size of that video just showing you this would be great if you got some rotten wood let's see if I can show you that Rotten wood, um, you're going to use a thicker Bondo. Instead of replacing all the wood, it's going to rot anyway. But if you use a, a Bondo product, it's going to be more moisture protective. Um, and I do have a place on this 100-year-old structure that I can show you that. With that said, as you look at the grass, you need about another 50 feet. As you look at the grass, I will show you a section that wood will come out. But if this wasn't, if this wasn't Sarge, there's steel here, right? This is steel. There's some rot eaten out, rotten out steel there. Now I can put Bondo in there or I can discontinue, not worry about it at all. Since it's not a surface product, the finished product, I'm not worried about it. This material will come out. I just picked at it and knocked it away to show that it was rotten to someone else. Um, it's water, water dry rot. So it now will. It actually sucked it up is what I'm showing that it sucked up to right about right about there it's just like a wick obviously water is not this height at this height but that's the end of the video guys wish you all the best all the best